Okay, this is this gorgeous sunflower that we are working on on painting and creating right now. And I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to do this. And this is attached to our Splendid Sunflower e-packet. So this is the finished one that's actually on this finished plate. I'm going to take this out of the way and I'm going to show you. This is just a very roughly base coated one. And I'm going to show you just how to treat it, just a couple of these petals. So don't panic. This is pretty easy. We're going to start by applying extender. And I always take my finger and just apply it by hand because I like to kind of rub it into the surface. It's a very uh, tactile sense. And I can, just by the way it feels, I can tell if I put too much extender on. Okay. So I can just take and rub some of that off. All right. And I'm just going to concentrate my efforts on these few petals up here. All right. So what I'm doing, I've, I've got some extender in, in my brush. And I'm going to work with a six filbert here. You could actually work with any brush that, that, that sides correctly. I'm going to start with the back petals. And we're going to start on the base color of the back petals. Now, the base color of the back petals is this uh, yellow oxide burnt umber mix that's in your lesson plan. So we're just going to go right to these back petals. And we're just going to slap that in real quick because I want to paint wet on wet. Okay, and I have that in there. Now, I'm going to put that color aside, just kind of rinse out my brush real quick, because I am going to use that color to, sh to shadow these front petals. All right, now, I'm, I'm going to go to my palette next, and I'm going to pick up some straight burnt umber right here, work it into my brush a little bit, and then I'm going to go to the, the V where these uh, pe front petals m meet, and I'm just going to touch in some of that burnt umber. Okay, very, and you see how I just touch it in and just kind of gently massage it back and forth so we get a nice shadowed look through here. I'll do the same thing down here. Burnt umber right in this V. Burnt umber right in this V. Let's do four petals. We'll do here too. Now, you can tell if you look here pretty closely, there's some under blending. That's not a problem. Because we're going to take our mop brush, just real quick, we can touch on that. Now, that's n totally not necessary. If you just want to get a little bit of that uh, under-blended line out of there, you can. I'm going to take just a little bit of this and touch it into just a few of the tips of these. Very, very loose. Now, I'm going to pinch wipe my brush, and I'm going to go and I'm going to pick up the highlight color. The highlight color is actually straight yellow oxide. Work it into my, my dirty brush, just like this. And I'm going to go right into the center of this petal. Here's the shadow. Here's the shadow. Tap it right into the center. And then I'm going to take the other side of my brush and just kind of gently uh, massage it back and forth. So I get this lifted section in the middle. And this dries down. It looks great when it dries down. Same thing here. And basically what we're doing is we want this petal to advance forward a little bit in the middle. But we also want to add some interest. So right in the middle here. Tap, tap, tap. Piece of cake. Massage it back and forth. Okay. And we'll get this one here. That's all you do to paint those back petals. Looks a lot more complicated than that. Every petal I painted on here was painted just like that. I put it in a little shadow and a little highlight. And then you can always go back, tap in a few little spots if you want for interest. Take a look at the photos. It, it really shows this off pretty well. Now, let's look at the front. To do the front, we're... Uh, front petals, we do them exactly the same. Here's the base color. This is yellow oxide and a bit of titanium white with some extender. And we're going to go and just apply this right over these front petals because we want to work, you guessed it, wet on wet. This is just a very casual tutorial here. Nothing earth shattering. Do a couple of these. And I'm, I'm, I'm going pretty quickly. Of course, if I'm not working uh, so fast, I'm taking my time more, but that's okay. Put a little bit of this on. Now, let's go to our shadow color. Now, you can mix burnt umber and a little yellow oxide to get a shadow color. I'll tell you what I ended up doing that made a really nice shadow color is I ended up picking up, see, oh, I like this real chunky color. I ended up picking up my base color to the back petals, which is here. I like that color. I think that really looks nice. That's a good shadow color. So I'm going to go to the base of this petal here. And, and I know that, that when I do my center, I'm going to blend that a little bit. So I'm not worried about a perfect line right through here. Just kind of tap that dark color. Bring over a little burnt umber if you need to for richness. A little bit of that on the tip. Same here. This is very rough looking, isn't it? I don't care. Does it need to be smooth yet? See, I'm just doing that real fast. I can paint these sunflowers so fast and they get such, such a sophisticated look. 
and here. Now, before I add my highlight color, you can see where I had that. That looks a little stripy. Not a problem. If you're if you're a, an advanced painter, take the corner of your brush and work that out. If you're a beginner, tap, tap, tap with your mop brush. That comes out really, really easy. See how nice that, that uh, will get rid of that under blended line. Okay, now, pinch wipe your brush and go to your highlight color. Your highlight color is uh, right here, and it's just your base color and some more Hansi Yellow. Let me get rid of this old paint, some more Hansi Yellow, and some more Titanium White. So I'm going to go, the same thing, I'm going to go right, right to the center of the petals, tap. Now watch what I do with the other side of my brush. Just pulling it down real soft, and I'm blending. See how nice that works? Very simple. I can go in with my mop brush at a later time, but right now I just want to get this basic tapping motion. And this, this makes it look like these petals come forward in this section. Just tapping that color in. Now, let's take, take some of this paint off our brush. Let's work on just getting rid of this under-blended line this way. But see, we have that light color in the middle, so it does make it look... Oh, that's a pretty one. It does make it look like that petal advances, doesn't it? See how that works? And if you looked at the final photo, you would absolutely see that. I take this, tap it like that. Now, what I'm going to do... When I do the final step, I take my um, liner brush and I pick up some of this burnt umber, just like this. Tap it to a point, and I'm just going to go and pull some little. So I pull, just pull some little lines here, and I do it here as well. And that just gives us a little bit of directional growth. Very quick, very casual. And even put some on the backs, like that. See? See how that looks? And this, like I said, this will dry down and will soften up, and you'll you'll just really love it. Now let's concentrate a little bit on the center. I'm going to take my eight shader. Love that brush. I use it for almost everything. Pick up some more of this burnt umber that I have here. I've got some extender in it. Tap, tap, tap. Now you'll notice there are two circles. I just want to get some wet paint in there. Now I go right to my Black paint here, very corner of my brush in black. Work it in with the burnt umber because I don't want it to be too heavy. And I'll go right here to the outside of here. And I'll just add it like that, very softly. See how I do that? Running it back and forth. And I'll do it maybe to the opposite end over here. And you can see how soft this is. I'm not concerned with with a really perfectly blended line, but I do want it to be soft. Then I'll pick up some of my yellows from my palette. I'm going to start with this very toned yellow. This was the back, the color of the back uh, petal. I already have that mixed, so why don't I go here, and I'll put a little bit right here against this edge. Just kind of smudge it back and forth. Just some random taps for interest. Okay, let's go a little bit lighter. So I pick up some of my other yellows from the palette. They're all described in your lesson plan. I got right here. I like this the way this looks. It starts to give this a little dimension through here. Take this. Tap it through here. And you can see my brush is just dancing back and forth. Nothing too stiff. And I just keep this going and I've got my beautiful sunflower. Okay, here's the uh, picture of the finished sunflower. As you can tell, I've got the growth lines that I did here in step four. I have the shadows on the outside. I've got the little taps in the center, which makes the petal look like, like it comes forward. And I have this beautiful center treatment. You can tell it turned out exactly like we hoped. So I hope that you enjoyed doing that. And now we're on to leaves. See you shortly.